Hey gang, Troy Dean here and uh, super excited to be sharing this with you. There's been a lot of conversation in the group recently about funnels and about generating more sales and putting your prices up and there's been some polls and there's been lots of conversation around this stuff. So I just wanted to walk you through the kind of over, and I promised I would make this video, I want to walk you through the overarching kind of strategy behind what we call a high ticket sales funnel. Now, um, just, you know, for your reference, high ticket, meaning anything that you're selling to a customer that requires a little more trust. So I'm not talking about, you know, $50 care plans here or even $200 care plans. If you're selling, if you want to sell care plans for like, you know, a couple of grand a month, which includes some coaching and some strategy, awesome. This will absolutely work perfectly. If you're currently selling websites for like three grand, eh, and you're doing it like over the phone or with a discovery meeting, well, if you want to sell those same websites for, you know, five or seven or 10, then this kind of funnel will work perfectly for you. Um, if you're just selling, if you're selling enterprise websites for like, 20, 30, 50 grand plus, this kind of funnel will be great for selling workshops like discovery workshops, like a full day discovery workshop for say three or four grand as the lead in product. Uh, if you are struggling to sell anything at all, this kind of funnel will definitely help you make more sales. So when I say high ticket sales funnel, it's really about getting paid more for the work that you're currently doing by positioning yourself as the authority. So let me walk you through the overarching strategy behind the funnel. Uh, so it all starts with your outreach and inbound efforts, which is a whole other conversation we can have another time. But basically, people land on your landing page. And on that landing page, they are promised uh, a free case study or some kind of um, uh, solution to their problem, right? They then click on the button and that triggers a two-step opt-in. Really important because the two-step opt-in, what that does is uh, that's like a micro commitment. So they literally click a button on the landing page, that pops up an opt-in form, they then opt in. Now, if they don't opt in, we just remarket them back to the landing page. Uh, if they do opt in, they land on what we call a cornerstone video, which is a piece of content where you basically show them how you're going to solve their problem in advance. So it does two things. It shows them that you understand their problem and it promises to help solve their problem. And in fact, you do solve part of their problem in that video. Let's just be clear about that. You need to solve part of their problem in that video. So for example, if you're selling review funnels, for example, you might say, hey, um, Part of the problem is that, you know, no one really knows how to leave you a review on Google because the link's really hard to find and, you know, it's not obvious. So what you should do is just create this short link, grab your Google, here's how to find your Google review link, shorten it using a link shortener, and then just promote this link, which is, you know, your domain name.com slash Google or review and give that to your customers. In fact, my, this is a true story. My parents have a piece of paper printed out. They run a trophy business from home. They have a piece of paper printed out and everyone that walks out the door goes home with this piece of paper um, that's got their website slash review on it. And I just use pretty links in WordPress to redirect them to uh, the Google review. So you might just teach one thing in that, in, that, in that sort of cornerstone video to show them, hey, wow, this person understands my problem. I'm not getting enough SEO traffic and incoming inquiries because my competitors are outranking me because they've got more reviews and they've shown me how to solve part of the problem. Then what you do in that kind of uh, cornerstone piece of content is you reveal that this is just one part of the problem and that you've actually got this entire process that helps them solve the entire problem. Then from that piece of content, there's a button here that they click on to apply to get on a call with you. Now, if they opt in here, as you can see, there's remarketing everywhere. If they opt in here, they don't watch the video, you remarket them back to the landing page, yeah? You can remark them, you can remarket them back to the cornerstone video, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just remarket them back. If they don't watch the video, they don't click on the button. If they apply, it then goes to an application form, and we are brutal with our application form. We ask all sorts of questions like, you know, uh, what is your budget? Are you prepared to pay a deposit on the call? How motivated are you to solve this problem? We're not interested in wasting time with tie kickers. So we are brutal in our application form about qualifying out the wrong sort of people. Once they fill in their application form, we use some conditional logic. And once they fill in the application form, if they qualify, then they'll end up on a booking page 
and they'll be able to book in our calendar and jump on a call. If they don't qualify, they end up on what we call the not quite right page, which basically says, hey, look, I don't think we're a good fit right now and here's why. And we just outline the criteria for our ideal client. And we say, you know, you might be better off going to, you know, somewhere else to get your problem solved. If you think we've got this wrong, feel free to email us, but we don't think we're a good fit right now. Again, you can see that if they get to the application form and they don't submit it, we remarket them back to, doesn't matter where, you know, probably back to the Cornerstone video or back to the application form. Once they land on the booking page, they book in the calendar, the booking is made, they jump on the, they get to a confirmation page which says, awesome, you're booked in for a strategy workshop or whatever you want to call it, discovery call. Uh, we call it an agency accelerator call. Um, and then I also say here, hey, there's some homework that you need to do before you jump on a call. And in fact, if you turn up to our call and you haven't done your homework, we're just going to reschedule, right? And so I run these calls over um, uh, the phone. So if I jump on a call with them and they haven't done their homework, I just reschedule it. So you just want to make sure, you know, if you're doing a workshop, for example, a physical workshop, if that's what you're selling, then you just want to make sure that they've done their homework before you actually meet up with them to do the thing. Then they get an email that sends them to their pre-call homework. In our case, they just got to watch some case studies and fill in a scorecard. Then from there, we jump on a call. We actually jump on a, on a Zoom call or a phone call. And from there, so this sales call here will actually sell them the thing, whether it's a full day workshop, whether it's a care plan with strategy, uh, whatever it is, you jump on a sales call. Uh, then they go to the checkout. They buy the thing, they, they make a commitment to, hey, if you want to book in for this full day workshop, our calendar is limited, you need to go here, pay your deposit. If you want to sign up for our care plan with coaching and strategy, and it's, you know, 1500 a month, and it's a 12 month commitment, whatever it is, they go to the checkout. If you want to put a deposit down for your website, they have to go to the checkout and pay, and then they end up on the ultimate success page, and then we start the onboarding. I'll just move that out of the way there. Then we start the onboarding process there once they've actually paid. But I want to get them to pay over the phone. Usually what happens is they give me their credit card details and I do that for them, and then they don't even see that. They don't need to see that. Uh, but you need to get the payment over the phone if they're serious. Now, here's the thing. If you've done your work here in the application form, you will not be wasting time on these sales calls with anyone who is not highly, highly qualified. So you've got to make sure that you understand who a perfect client is for you so that you can qualify them out on this application form. So anyone who fails that, you use conditional logic to send them over here that just goes, sorry, we're not quite right. You might want to go to Squarespace or whatever the case may be. Yeah. That, my friends, is the overarching strategy of a high ticket sales funnel. Uh, of course, there are lots of questions you've got around this. I'm happy to answer them in the group. And also, uh, we have a brand new course coming out called High Ticket Sales Funnels. It's the world's worst kept secret, I think. Uh, myself and Dave Foy have been working tirelessly on putting this course together. It basically teaches all of the things in uh, this um, this uh, infographic here. So uh, it teaches what to say on the landing page. It teaches what to actually say here, the script for this cornerstone video. It teaches exactly what to ask in the application form. Uh, we also teach you how to program your conditional logic. It says exactly what to say on this page, um, how to do this. Probably one of the most important things is this here, how to get them to do their homework before they jump on a sales call. And then the script for this sales call, which I promise you is worth tens of thousands of dollars on its own because this sales call script coupled with this application form to pre-qualify them will mean that you can convert these sales calls. I'm currently converting sales calls at about 60 to 80%. That is no BS, hand on heart, true story. And that's because the people on these calls are highly qualified and highly motivated to want to buy. Uh, and the sales call is, the script is an absolute gem. So we answer all the questions in the course. Now, here's the thing. If you want a download of this infographic that our, our great designer, Ben, put together. If you want a download of this, just click the link below this video. We're going to take you off to many chat and you can uh, download this via Facebook Messenger. Uh, we're not worrying about emails and stuff now because too much stuff goes to spam folders and seriously, you don't need any more emails. Um, so if you want to grab this download, just click the link below this video, go off to Facebook Messenger and click the button and you can get this delivered to you via Facebook Messenger. Awesome, awesome. and uh, keep your eyes open because uh, very, very, very shortly we'll be opening the doors for our High Ticket Sales Funnel course. Hope you can make it in there. Let me know if you've got any questions under this video. Keep the conversation going. Till then, have an awesome day. Bye for now.